right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Hey guys, I'm Underworld Reaper and I thought I'd cook you up a meal that I created the other night. And it's like a bolognese mixed with no pasta and satay. It's like a sweet and sour pork delish. Yeah, know. sweet and sour pork. Yeah, sweet and sour pork. No pasta. I've already prepped up all the ingredients. Check the ingredients. Broccoli, uncut. Mushrooms, onion, capsicum, carrot, um, snow peas, ginger, garlic. Uh, I didn't bring chili, so I've got Mexican chili. I've got some sort of unknown spice that makes it all work. Um, cumin seeds, cumin powder, and also another unknown spice mixed with the sweet soy and soy sauce and some honey. And lots of salt and pepper. Right. That's still needs to defrost. I don't care what anyone thinks. This is what this is what gamers should be eating. Especially if you're about to turn 30. And life's getting a bit empty. Salt's not working. Doesn't matter how unprofessional it looks. This gamer knows how to cook. Put your broccoli first. <laughs> really laughing. I can't get vegetables everywhere. <laughs> that first. The main thing you need to do with this secret recipe. Is make sure this pork is delicious, and make sure the stove's on. Olive oil, lots of pepper with pork. We're going to just start eating pork. And before you put your meat in, season your oil. Make sure it's nice. It's going to be cooking for a little while. So. Get the cumin seeds. Or cumin seeds. <laughs> so that it does say cumin seed, which makes a lot of sense to human evolution and their acts. But also quite tasty with pork. Put a fair bit in there. I'll flavor that oil. Alright, so garlic, ginger. Majority of the ginger is going to be added to the pork. The oil up. Mm -hmm. Check out the oils. Yum. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit more oil in there. Put the foods. But no, out of all seriousness, this meal is like amazing. No pasta, no nothing, just really good. I ate it the other night randomly and it was like the bomb. So let's get like a little grater. Grate some ginger. Some garlic. You like our garlic. Corona killer. I just nearly grated my finger off because I was a mushroom, not even easy garlic. 
shit. That's why I prepped it beforehand, otherwise this video will go on for too long, but everyone knows how to cut stuff. Ginger will start to brown. Have a squeezy in it. Ginger will start to brown. Mm. The broccoli is cooked enough. Take it out. And plate it for later. Goes into the prepping board. Um, ask my partner. I'm extremely messy. Mm -hmm. I'm a good cook, so I get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Throw the whole pork in there. Just throw it in there. Just like Jamie Oliver style. Throw the whole chicken in there. Throw the whole onion in there. Full flavour. Make sure you don't get that little pad thing in there. It's all mashed. I'm gonna really spend some time with it. I'm gonna keep adding flavours so we get that ginger garlic hit, and then we'll start adding other things to it. As she eats all the raw material. <laughs> well, I've been living off macas for a bit, but I am. We usually cook a bit. I'm over it ever since um, dinner boxes went up to um, like $30 for a cheeseburger. I was thinking that's a little bit steep for something that's air bread and. Lack of nutrition. Lack of nutrition. The only good thing in there is probably the pickles. Never used to eat pickles. I had a dream that I was going to die from a pickle. Because you ate too many pickles yeah. in a short period of time. Yeah. You're gonna be no carrots left. No. Alright. Mm. We use distilled water. But a little bit of water will be needed once this starts going to keep it moist. It's all mashed up. Start to add a bit more. Garlic and ginger. I'm going to save the rest of the ginger for the veggies. And the amount of flavour has to go into it. Mm -hmm. Just keep adding. A couple of turns here and there. Lots of pepper. And cumin powder. This just goes through it a bit easier than the seed as the mess starts to increase. Now this is like a lemon lemongrass powder. 
with a bit of zinc to it, also coats the meat. Probably about a teaspoon of it. And this is like a, a little bit like a cumin curry. And we have a little bit left. The creations are made random. Fragrance starts kicking. And once this is ready to leave, which it is, turn it right on low. That's it. Back to this pan that was sitting there on fire. <laughs> which I'm a bit scared to use. <laughs> We're going to use the rest of this ginger and garlic. There's any food left? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm, I'm hungry too. I think we have like dog bar. What do I have today? Noodles. Yeah. Noodles. Yum yum tom yum soup. <laughs> Yummy noodles. Very good. <laughs> good for the belly. Smash it like you're losing the, like you're losing the game. And Kerry Owen says the flavors are amazing. Broccoli, why not? Leave the red cap to last and the snow peas to last mm, and the muffies. That's oh, still moist. I'll do this. Alright. Soy sauce. The drizzle. Mexican chili. Depending on how hot you like it. Good luck. Shit's fucking stick. Alright. Oh, that works. Sweet soy. You don't know the difference. Tastes better than soy. into it. Snow peas, capsicum. of the ginger. Tastes like 
jeans. <coughs> Mushrooms on top. Last time, but I thought it was a good idea. A bit of crunch. What's that? Constant crunch, sunflower seeds, oh. sunflower kernels. I don't want to add to this or that. I was going to say the veggies. You reckon the veggies? Hmm. Yeah. That's still going to be sweet. Yeah, I reckon the veggies too. Alright. That's stewed a little bit. Don't worry about the sauce, this is where it comes to like, it's like a stir fry bolognese without the pasta, but all the elements are separate. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm. Mm. I reckon about a handful. Yeah. Oh, I got a little bit more. Can I have some? Let me have some. Put your hand in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good sauce of something. <laughs> mm. Imagine, yeah, I reckon that would be a nice little crunch for that. Mm. Alright. That's done. them together, those, the meat and the veggies? No, I'm going to do it separately, because even though it may look like everyone makes it like that, if you separate the elements and let the sauce from the um, veggies sink into the meat, it's like a little soup below everything, it's quite nice. Just enough coke. Alright, it's going off tap. I'll turn it off. Get a spoon like figurine. One. 
It may look really healthy, but for people that like that takeout food, this is actually like, it's pretty good. It's pretty bloody good. I don't care how Aussie that sounds. It's pretty bloody good. I'm getting this. Mozzie used it all because we ate it all last time. No leftovers of this meal. I all the seeds in that. That's good. Wait, that little bit extra. That's oh, that's really good. Yeah. That's good. If honestly it's gonna make it, you'll get exactly what I mean once you get that flavour. It's boots. It's the best. Alright, let's dish out the veggies. We'll piss that broccoli off. That sauce, wish there was more. So maybe next time I have a little bit more water or soy. All the sauce will sink to the bottom, but the pork won't be too covered in the sauce. And then mixing the two flavors together, it's like an amazing sweet and sour sensation with no wheat. Just raw material. Perfecto. And recommended, minus the um, seed in this bourbon. Go smashing down with the burbs. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure what one is what. <laughs> Thank you, my camera woman. And hopefully you like the video. Something a bit different. I thought, why not? But, you know what? When you're playing games, smashing down Vs, you need something good for yourself. Especially a bourbon at the end of the day. Alright, see you later.